Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to theme the lock screen on Android Lollipop. Now to get this one going you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework install but if you need any help with those requirements just check out my article on Gadget Hacks. Then to get started head to the download section of your exposed installer app and search lock screen clock mods then tap the top result. From here, swipe over to the Versions tab, then hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come right up, so tap Install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. Just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification and Exposed will take care of the rest for you. When you get back up, go ahead and open the Lock Screen Clock Mods app that you'll find in your app drawer. There are three basic elements of the lock screen that you can theme with this. The clock, the date, and the owner info. For each of these elements, use the slider at the top of the card to adjust the size. Pretty simple, right? Beneath that, you can change the font family for this element. So you can go with thin, regular, medium, etc. After that, the text style option lets you set the font to bold, italic, or bold and italic. Finally, you can change the color of the various entries with the last option here. This color menu is pretty straightforward, so select the one that looks best to you. Beneath these three main elements that you can theme, there's a bonus option for changing the carrier text label on your lock screen. I haven't got this one to work so far, but try it out anyway and maybe you'll have better luck than me. But at the very bottom of the list, you can see a preview of what your lock screen is going to look like. If it looks good to you, go ahead and tap the check icon in the bottom right corner to save your work. The app will inform you that a reboot is needed before your changes will take effect, so let me do that real quick. After rebooting that second time, your lock screen theme will be in effect, so it's a great way to personalize one of the aspects of Android that you see the most. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!